Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on rectification. So this is our question. So that the perimeter of the loop of the curve 3ay square equal to x square into a minus x is 4a by root 3. So we have to find the perimeter of the loop of this curve. What is this curve? So we can write this curve as y square equal to x square into a minus x upon 3a. So if you don't know how to draw this curve, the cu hint to draw this curve is given in the question only. Show that the perimeter of the loop. That means this curve has perimeter. Uh, this curve has a loop. So what is that loop? Okay, so where this loop will intersect. Okay, so to find where this loop will intersect, first we will put y equal to 0 in this loop. When we put y equal to 0, we get x square into a minus x equal to 0. So either x is 0 or a minus x is 0. So x is 0 is one point and x equal to a is another point. So we get two points on the x axis. So this is one point x equal to zero and this is x equal to a is another point. So whenever we have two point on the same axis, the loop is on that axis. So we will have one loop here. Okay, so this is our loop. So this is our loop. This is how you have to draw the curve. But you can remember this curve whenever we have y square and x square and into something this curve will always have one loop okay how to find the loop first put y equal to zero we will get two terms x equal to zero or x equal to a so this is x equal to a this is x x equal to zero so in this way you can find the loop okay and this curve is something like this so this is our basic curve so we have to find the perimeter of the loop that is we have to find the length of this part and the length of this part so above and below part are exactly symmetrical so we will only find the length of this part and we will multiply our length by 2 okay because we have to find the entire length so 2 times integration of ds here we have the equation y equal to function of x okay y square equal to x square a minus x we can write this as y equal to i am taking the square root on the both side x root of a minus x so this equation is matching with this so whenever we have this type of equation our ds is nothing but root of 1 plus dy by dx the whole square into dx okay so first we will find what is dy by dx 